everybody, I'm Amy and I teach art lessons for kids. All of my lessons are specifically tailored with kids in mind and they're a lot of fun. I even test them on my own two daughters. Today I'd like to talk about watercolor basics. So let's grab some watercoloring supplies and a comfy seat and let's get started. I've got a couple different techniques of blends. We're gonna try and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So. We're going to start with a small blank piece of paper. And we've got out our watercolors and we're going to go ahead and put some drips of water into each color so we can start to loosen those colors up and create some fun blends. Now I have another video that has um, supply ideas that you and your parents can gather, um, but mainly we need our watercolors, our jar of water, and paintbrushes, and blank papers. So we're going to get started, and our first technique of blending today is going to be wet on wet, and we're going to use a large brush. And we're going to simply paint our entire paper with clear water first. Okay. You can use a smaller brush, a medium sized brush, it just takes a little longer. And you can kind of tell when it's wet if you just like let the light bounce off of it, kind of look at it from an angle. Does it look all wet? Mine looks pretty wet. Okay. I'm going to use my basic watercolor set today and I think I'm going to start out with some blue. Okay, so now that the paper is all wet, we're just going to go ahead and start adding some color here and there. These are really fun. They almost look like fireworks. They're pretty cool. And they make really fun note cards or um, holiday cards, birthday cards for people that we care about when they're dry. Okay, so now that you've added one color, we're going to go back and we're going to start really blending colors by adding a second color to this already wet page. You can add as much or as little color as you want. I want mine to be a little darker, so I'm gonna keep dipping my brush back into the color. If you want yours to be lighter, you can just add more water to the color that's already on your brush. This is a really fun way, whoops, I did some more blue. It's a really, really fun way to blend color and just explore how colors blend together, what they make. It's also a really fun way to make clouds, and we'll get into that on a different video. Okay, and my next, my last color I'm gonna add is gonna be just like a bit of purple here and there. Just give it a little bit more fun, a little bit more interest. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and let it dry and we can talk about our second form of blending watercolors. In our second type of blending watercolors, we're going to use two different colors and watch how they blend in the center to create a new color. This is really fun and pretty simple. And we can start by actually folding our paper in half. You don't have to fold it in half, but it does kind of give us a good visual boundary to know we want to keep one color on one side and one color on the other side. Okay, so for this one I'm going to use a medium sized brush that I dipped in water and I'm going to go ahead and think about two colors that I want to use. And I think I'm going to use the red and the yellow again. 
You can choose whichever color you'd like. So I'm going to start by choosing one color and kind of keeping it to the halfway point. Um, add a, a bit more color just so it's a little darker and we can see the blend better. Learning blends is pretty fun. Just creates this soft mixture of color. Okay, now I'm going to rinse out that brush or get um, a clean brush, whichever you are able to do. I'm going to go ahead and grab some yellow. You can grab your second color. Doesn't have to be the same as my colors. I'm going to go ahead and paint some yellow on this side. And as I get up to the red, I'm going to start really blending. Things are going to start really mixing here. I'm going to come out with some orange. That's really cool. I'm going to rinse my brush just so I can kind of keep my yellow pretty clean. But I'm going to work that yellow into the red. And that's going to make the orange, which is going to make the real blending and mixing happen. So there you have it. We have two different ways of blending. They're both really fun and they both can be used to build bigger images. And we'll get into that in some different videos. But for now, I hope you enjoy just having fun, creating some really cool mixes and blends.